of the hardest hit areas last week when the storm came through on Monday night was Norway Beach near Cass Lake. The campground lost many trees and had a number of damaged buildings as well. Lacey Montellion tells us more about the road to recovery. The quiet at Norway Beach is broken only by the sound of birds chirping. Just one week ago today, the noise at this campground would have been very different indeed. Uh, we did have a, uh, a significant number of campers at the beach. Um, they found shelter in some of the bathrooms and some of the other buildings. The storm last week knocked down many trees in the campground. No one was injured, uh, which is a miracle. But the amount of damage is still relatively unknown. It'll take us a number of days and weeks to assess the damage both to bathrooms, um, the visitor center, the roads. The issue with safety at Norway Beach doesn't come from those trees that are already on the ground. It's the trees that are leaning that officials say the root system underneath is damaged. Professional land managers will come through the campgrounds and we will look at each individual tree within the campground in terms of its hazard to, to visitors and our campers. For now, it's expected that Norway Beach will not be open again this season. The longer I, I look at it and the more I see that there is damage and work to be done. When the area is reopened, it will look very different. There are lots of big trees left. Uh, it's still a beautiful place. Um, is it going to be a different place? Yes. Are some, do some areas look really bad right now? Yes. But it's not just the destruction that sticks out at Norway Beach. It's also that stillness. Lacey Montellion, Lakeland News. Mm, amazing damage. One of my favorite campgrounds in the area, to tell you the truth. The campground is closed. The Norway Beach Resort, though, is open to the public still. A safe route to the resort has been ensured for those visitors. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.